Bear County is launching a new needle exchange program. On Tuesday, the commissioner's court approved $80,000 in support. The chairman of the opioid task force shares what this new initiative means for the county and what it will take to expand statewide. So TJ, this has been a passion project for you for, for several years. What did it take for Bear County to get to this point? It took a lot of inter-institutional collaboration. Uh, in the months leading up to the Bear County Commissioner's Court vote, uh, we had a lot of stakeholder meetings. That includes the Metropolitan Health District, the District Attorney's Office, the Sheriff's Office, uh, City Council staff, County Commissioner's staff. We wanted to get everybody from a wide range of institutions on board with the idea because it is controversial and we wanted to make sure we had stakeholder buy-in. It also required us to build relationships with boots on the ground, folks who are providing services in these high need areas who may sometimes be a little bit more skeptical of government entities. So building relationships, making sure everybody was on board with what we're trying to do before we made the request to the commissioner's court. So they would have the confidence that uh, we have everything lined up straight and that we'll uh, implement the program in a way that's fiscally responsible. And I guess really bottom line, you take out the politics, you take out the controversy. If a user is going to use, they're going to use. That's right. And also study after study shows that needle exchange programs don't encourage drug use or increase drug use, they actually decrease drug use because in the needle exchange process you have an opportunity to inform people about treatment that's available to them and, and, and maybe teach them about uh, some ways to improve their lives and, and you've seen this throughout the country. So we feel like uh, those criticisms, while I understand them in theory, I actually used to subscribe to them myself, the more you learn about it the more you realize that it increases access to treatment, decreases uh, the spread of disease and uh, decreases taxpayer expenditures in the bottom line. You know, you you wrote in your op-ed in the Express News, 10 cents for a clean syringe. How does that translate to dollar saved? So a 10 cent syringe can end up saving hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in medical treatment. HIV and hepatitis C are two of the diseases you see spread most because of unsafe needle practices. They are very expensive to treat, hundreds of thousands of dollars over a lifetime. Um, sometimes that's borne by us as the property taxpayers. If somebody's uninsured and ends up at a uh, the UHS and doesn't have uh, Medicaid available to them. So uh, we really think that this is good for the taxpayers, but it's really a humanitarian cause as well. Do you hope that Bear County's initiative and this program will influence the state? Yeah, so um, for some context, Bear County is the only entity in the entire state of Texas who has the legal authorization to fund a needle exchange program. Uh, that's thanks to a bill that was uh, introduced and passed by Ruth Jones McClendon, state representative. Judge Wolf worked with her on that back in 2007. But the district attorney at the time didn't uh, support the program, and now we have the support of the district attorney, which is a, a necessary step. So to your point, uh, Bear County being the only entity that can fund this program, if we don't fund it, you're not going to make it more available statewide because the legislature won't take that step. If we don't do it right, the state won't fund it. The, the state won't allow it statewide. But if we do do it right, we can be the demonstration project of the model. We have Representative Ina Minharas from our uh, delegation who's been a leader on this. And we want to give her the evidence she needs to convince lawmakers that this is a way to, pre to prevent overdose deaths. It is a way to increase access to treatment. It is a way to stop the spread of disease. Thank you, TJ Mays. We appreciate your time. The new program kicks in this fall.